Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome to the Shooter's Mindset channel. Got a couple reviews here that I had lined up that I haven't been able to get to, so I'm going to start flipping out these reviews. But one common, you know, I've been asked this stuff all the time, and they asked me what kind of camera am I using to record my uh, match videos, um, and I always answered them with the Tachyon gun cam. And I had a previous review on this model. This is the Tachyon gun cam 720 HD camera, and I will leave a link um, down below in the description box here or I'll have an annotation on the screen where you can click on that to visit this review here. But today we're talking about the Tachyon Gun Cam 1080p version. Uh, I've been using this one probably for about, uh, about three months now. Got a couple matches in with it um, and I want to give you my thoughts on it. All right, so let's start off with what you get when you purchase the Tachyon Gun Cam, the 1080 HD. Um, and you get an abundance full of accessories just like the 720 model, which you can't say that for a lot of the other, uh, you know, outdoor cameras out there. You know, you usually have to purchase the accessories as you go. So this one, you're kind of all set out the box. They do have an additional uh, accessories for, like, you know, shotgun mounts and other things like that. But what you get out of the box is you're going to get a uh, kind of like a waterproof case. Now keep in mind that, you know, if this is some really severe heavy rain or something like that, you want to keep the Tachyon gun cam out of that because it's not a waterproof camera. They do have a waterproof version on their website. But this, you know, if it's just lightly raining outside and you're, you know, you're still shooting in that match, you can pop this on there and it'll protect it. I also store my Tachyon gun cams in this thing too, so it, it also works great for storage. Uh, this is uh, the clip mount. Uh, this here, I brought in the hat here. Um, this is uh, my recommended way to do this, is mounting it on a hat, you know, which are, with a bolt and a washer. This gives you the most stable platform. You can see you still can adjust it a little bit to get that angle. So this is probably my preferred mounting method. For a tachyon, you can do this with any hat. Doesn't need to be a tachyon hat. Um, this is the the clip mount. Uh, what I noticed with this, and what, if I'm going to say something that I don't like about uh, one of the mounting systems, is this one. Um, I noticed during you know when you're running, firing a lot of USPSA matches, I noticed this mount brings a lot of wobble into the image as you're running. It kind of has a lot of shake to it. So keep in mind, but this is an, um, another mounting option here. You can mount this on any any hat without drilling into it. Um, this one here is the, the tripod mount. You can also uh, use this um, as I've had had success uh, putting these on the, on the bill of the hats. These work really good. And this is like a helmet mount. So if you're doing some motocross or you know riding a motorcycle or biking or anything like that, this I've also seen people using this for the side of their ear protection, uh, electronic earmuffs or something like that. You can mount this on the side to get that side view. Another thing you're getting is some, three, uh, some 3M uh, dual lock um, fastener here. Uh, so a bunch of options out the box with All the right, Tachyon so the, gun The feature cam. I like the most about the gun cam, the Tachyon gun cam cameras are their ease of use. One button operation. Okay, so make, you know, obviously here, make sure it's in, in record mode, which is this one up. And also you can adjust what it records in, so it can record in 10, 1080p or 720. Um, operation, hold down the button to record, to stop recording, hold down the power button. Simple as that, those noises let you know that you're recording and you're not recording. Simple, easy, uh, not like a lot of cameras out there where you gotta hold down a button and then press the top button you know you gotta you know there's a variety of steps you need to take just to get the thing to record okay so some of you guys who have the 720p model wondering if you want to upgrade to the 1080p um, so size and weight you figured you get a lot more power in a camera is the size any difference and no they're and they're identical in size okay but there is a very very minute uh, weight difference here's the 1080p I'm going to put that in ounces, and you're getting 1.937 ounces. The 720, you're getting 1.04. So 
barely even noticeable on the weight. Size is the exact same size as the 720. All right, so we've got an example here for you on how easy it is to mount to a tripod mount. This happens to be a mini, mini Joby uh, tripod mount here. Um, very simple using their tripod mount, screw it in and it fits. Um, one thing you are going to notice is the difference there. You can see a difference in the lens. Um, slight difference, but very rare. Some of the features you're going to get with the 1080p. You're going to get 1080p uh, power, 30 frames per second, um, super sharp HD video. Also, you're going to get a t battery lasts two plus hours on 1080. Also, you, if you switch it to 720, you can get about five hours on one battery. That says also a lot about this camera, how long it will last on a ba on a single charge. Um, you get a wise lens without the fisheye effect. Also, you can fit up to a 32 gigabyte uh, mini SanDisk card, which just slides in right there. Uh, charging is a simple USB port. You can charge these um, as you're driving. So if you're, you know, you got it plugged in to your charge port, you can record yourself while driving while it's recording. Um, good simple uh, charge method there. Um, also, there's a looping feature. So if you if you're, you know, if you run out of memory card, it'll start deleting some of the earlier stuff you had on the memory card to fill in what you're currently recording. So that's a great feature as well for those who record for continuous hours at a time and don't or or don't delete the footage they currently have on their memory card. Uh, talking price point here, the Tachyon Gun Cam is going to HD, the 1080 is going to come in at about $200 ish. So uh, depending on where you look for this, I, cur I got it on Amazon uh, for I believe it was $199, so about $200 shipped. Um, don't know if that price is going to go up or down, or you know, prices are always subject to change. But uh, for the price point and all the accessories you get, I mean, at least for the sport of shooting, um, it's definitely the best camera on the market, in my opinion. Now, I've played earlier on the channel, I've played with other cameras, I just have the most success with this one. Uh, mainly the ease of use and a battery life is the big thing for me. Um, a lot of people can relate. They leave their camera on after they shot a stage, and you know, you know, you get you, the, you get the footage of you walking around. And as soon as you know it, by the time you realize your camera is still recording, your battery's dead. So this one, I've done it where I forgot to turn turn it off, record, uh, realized it, and was still had plenty of battery life to record the rest of the match. So. There you have it. There's a Tachyon Gun Cam 1080p model. That'll do it for today's review. Please be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe to this video, and I'll see you on the next one.